from the Elk Ridge Branch, and today what I'd like to go over a little bit is what's behind your wall um, and how you can hang things on your wall. So I teach uh, a class online and in person um, how to select a home improvement contractor, and um, so you should come to it next time. And uh, in there, a woman asked me if she needed to get a contractor or a handy person to come to her house to help her hang her towel rack, which kept falling off the wall. And I said, certainly not. I think you could DIY that project. So I think you could DIY that. But the first thing is, is kind of understanding how your wall works. Um, I hope you'll notice my wonderful bouquet for the springtime there. And I'm doing it on the chalkboard so it'll show up a little better so you can see it on camera. Um, basically, there is wood framing behind your wall. Um, this could vary in spacing. It kind of the standard is a two by four with 16 inches on the center in between. That is changing. For example, I'm in a basement. It doesn't need to structurally support something. So the wood could be two feet apart. Um, as building codes change and they make walls wider to get more insulation in there, um, they might be the spacing might be different because they're using wider boards. So that could vary. So what you really need to do is find out where you are before you hang a towel rack, hang a picture, um, put it, pretty much put anything on your wall. Um, most houses built after the Second World War have drywall, not plaster. So it's just the drywall, the sheetrock, and then there's wood behind there. Insulation, sometimes wires, sometimes plumbing, depending on which wall it is. So let's take a look. So what you can do is come to the Elk Ridge Branch. You can borrow this edge finder, edge finding zircon, which is a really nice one. And what you do with this, you just need to turn it on. This, set, this will deep scan and it will find the edge, remember. So we'll start over here. You turn it on, you move it slowly, and voila, we find ourselves an edge. So what I will do is mark that, and then I come back over here, because remember, that's the edge. So I can be sure. Sometimes you get some bad reads, but that is about the width. That's about an inch and a half. That's the width of a two by. So that is going to be the wood in your wall, meaning you can hang things on that, you can drill in there, you can put a screw in there. Um, if your shelf is, for example, from here and then you need another hole here, you already looked, you're probably not going to have any wood there. So basically what you need to do is go to the home center and you need to get yourself some sort of hangers. There's a million different types of wall anchors now, but something that they're rated for weight to, something that you could put in the sheet, into the drywall, into the sheetrock, something that you can either screw in there, you can drill in there, but something that's going to have to hang in there because if you put a screw into just the drywall and hang a picture of a shelf, it's just going to fall right off. So it needs to be anchored by something. And could come borrow this from us and you can find the edges so now let's take a look at the back side of your wall real quick all right welcome to the other side of the wall I'm back let's not overanalyze that I may look a little differently I may be dressed a little differently those are the secrets of the HCLS mobile studio so basically this is the back side of your wall what I talked about before spacing may be different um, this is a basement, so the spacing is a little farther. You may have some different widths of wood back here, but basic setup for a drywall wall. This is drywall, which is really nothing more than paper and gypsum, and so screws won't really hold in here. This is why you have to use the anchors, as I mentioned. Um, so you want to use anchors or hit the wood, or what some people call the studs, in the wall. Um, Again, use the stud finder. What you need to keep in mind though is that there's wires, there could be plumbing back here, there could be insulation if this is an exterior wall. So the good news is, is by code, you should have a nail plate over the wire on the wall that's covered with drywall. So when you go to nail, screw, or drill or anything, you will hit this, and I've hit these before, you will know it very quickly, and you can stop and then move to another spot, move to another piece of wood in the wall, what have you. But basically outlet, wire coming up from here, wire going through the wall, wire going to the switch. 